The race to produce the best car with the fastest charging has a lot of importance in the present day. While the companies are hunting to find out the best technology and the best people who are skilled enough to make this a reality, we have hit many roadblocks that have made it difficult for them to reach where they want to reach. So, stay tuned with us and we will discuss the latest upgrade that Toyota has come up with. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If you are looking for the best updates in technology and the best cars worldwide, you have clicked the best video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and also let us know what you think about the technology that we are about to tell you. Toyota is one of the fastest growing companies in the world. It has become one of the best in the segment when it comes to its EVs and the efficiency they have lately been providing. So, this upgrade has been an upgrade to whatever they already could achieve. With the ability to charge the car in 10 minutes, Toyota has hit an all-new milestone, which means that the competitors now have a huge thing in front of them to remain in the market. It was back in 2017 that Toyota started working with EVs. Ever since they started it up, they have had some important updates in their mind. A lot of them were related to the commercialization of batteries inside their vehicles. This was the goal they had set to be achieved in the early 2020s. Probably, the 10-minute charging capability comes as an insight into the same vision they had years ago. It wasn't long ago that Nikkei Asia came out with a new report that Toyota is about to unveil a car powered by the next generation batteries. He also stated that the car would consist of many new features that have never been seen before in the market. Though they did not tell us what they were, we did get a small idea about the utility we can expect out of it. He says that this technology that they have developed is certainly a cure for all the drawbacks that the battery systems have. He says that the technology will be far better than the conventional lithium-ion batteries that are presently being used in the industry. As the technology increases, charging times will also decrease, and so will the distance being covered. The technology being used by them is called the solid-state battery system that will enable the car to charge much faster than it is being charged presently. Let's talk a bit about the numbers now. The claims are that the car with such a technology embedded into its systems will be able to cover 500 kilometers out of a 10-minute charging time. This is certainly a huge claim to make, and therefore it needs to be verified as soon as the car comes out of testing and is available for the experts to take a look at. Given that China has not rolled out an all-electric vehicle outside of China, this will certainly be a big debut that it will make in the market. Though the company calls it the first step into this market, we think that there is a long way for them to proceed before we see the best that the car company could bring forth. Solid-state technology is one field that could see a lot of innovations in the coming future. The technology that Toyota came up with is just a starting point for the developments here. One of the important elements that need to be considered while speaking of solid-state technologies, especially batteries, is the mass production of these batteries. Suppose the statistics that we have presently continue to be the case for the future as well. Toyota will have a very big lead on the market. In that case, however, it may be too soon to declare so, looking at the interest a lot of companies have in this technology. Even though we do not know about the number of cycles that the battery can achieve or the capacities that the battery have at different temperatures, we do have a promising future in this field if the reports being presented turn out to be true. The task at hand is very difficult to solve, so claims that Toyota has solved this issue will need thorough checks before declaring their authenticity. One of the ways for the general public or scientists to believe this news is by releasing a bit more information on this technology and letting us know what changed in it from the last methods we have been aware of. So, a trip of 500 kilometers in one charge. Does that sound impossible to you? What if we told you we know something that a lot of people in this world following this news don't? Stay tuned, and we have the updates for you lined up right away. A cure to all the disadvantages that the batteries in this world have is something that will certainly turn a lot of heads. The plan to be the first company that will be selling cars fitted with solid-state batteries is certainly one of the biggest achievements that they can have. The biggest credit that the company, however, takes on itself is that it could accomplish this without affecting the interior space in any manner. This means that Toyota could fit this new technology into the same compartment with minor changes in the frame to match the same interior space that it has been providing in the other cars. The benefits like the ones we just mentioned are a very good indicator that solid-state batteries could really be a very good fit into the world of electronic vehicles. 
As a matter of fact, the capability to charge in just 10 minutes eradicates the last excuse of those who hated EVs had in their hand. Reliability and performance under extreme temperatures is one thing that needs to be taken into consideration. Almost all the EVs today have certain flaws in them, no matter how minute they are. Take for example, the flaw noted in the Tesla handle as it freezes under very low temperatures. These are certain design flaws that could easily be rectified with experience. Given that Toyota is yet to make an impact in the market, we can be sure that it will be able to make all these changes really well and bring in these modifications to attract more customers to the company. The lithium-ion batteries use aqueous electrolyte solutions that make them less efficient than the newly found solid-state ones. This will not only help increase efficiency, but will also help reduce the chances of fire building up and will multiply the energy density. In simpler words, a smaller sized battery may be able to deliver much higher performance compared to a lithium ion battery of the same size. This is what gives Toyota a chance to keep the cabin space the same while increasing the battery capacity, endurance and performance. As the battery is densely packed, it will take much less time to charge and hold it within them. As Toyota develops this technology, according to the reports, it has also been found that Nissan has also started their work on solid-state batteries. This means that for all those companies putting this into the application, there will certainly be a higher chance of having to change the structure and production line drastically. This, yet again, is an important step that will need to be taken by all such companies. Many other companies have also decided to take up this technology for the production of batteries. Sumitomo Chemical is developing the materials that may be required to develop such kinds of batteries. Oil company Idemitsu Kosan is also installing production equipment at its Chiba prefecture site, aiming for the beginning of operations within the next year. So, as you can see, the market has started moving in the direction that the companies want them to move. This has always been how this industry works. The development of a new technology brings in a lot of changes in the production lines of many other companies. Electric vehicles are anticipated to become very common in the times ahead. It is also anticipated that the Japanese government will bring in other schemes incentivizing the companies that work towards developing this technology. That's not it. They have already started the work by motivating the companies to work and produce more products using such technology. A total fund of 2 trillion yen has been sanctioned for this purpose, as they intend to decarbonize the society to the deepest levels. Like all other companies, the Japanese government aims to support the mass production that will further bring in revenues. Companies like Volkswagen are also planning on running this solid-state technology by 2025 through a joint venture with a US startup. So, this may have given you a very good idea about the importance of the technology that Toyota has announced it will implement. It is time that will tell us what happens with their technology and how efficiently they put it into use. We will meet you in another video. Until then, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and also let us know your thoughts on solid-state technology.